Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. This morning, as markets are just about 10 minutes into trading, let's go on over to Jared Blickery, who joins us in the studio this morning. Ooh. Jared, good to see you <laughs> hey. here live in living color. I'll tell you what, I can't complain about not having access to the beautiful Wi-Fi Interactive. You can see everything in the green right now in celebration of this moment, the Dow up by a whopping uh oh, it's down two basis points right there. Let's just go to the five day price action in the S&P 500. This is a downdraft. We can see it's down nearly 4% there. Want to get a longer term look. This is going to be a two month chart with some candlesticks on it. Here is the June rally from this low to this high it was about almost 20%, about 18, 19%. And now we have fallen off. We have one, two down days and a big, big down days in a row. This was 2%. This was over 1%. Last time we saw this, it was a very quick drop from potential uh, resistance there, right there to, to, excuse me, potential support. And you take a look at the year to date chart. This has happened before. We've seen these false breaks to the upside right here. This exceeded this high in here. We saw it in here as well. So could be par for the course that we have now exceeded this high over here and we are simply heading down. Now, we do want to talk about oil, guys. So I got a lot to say about that as well. Yeah, oil and natural gas as well, which we are seeing spiking here. There's some also headlines out of OPEC and Saudi Arabia's oil minister in particular raising some concerns that there might be production cuts at some point in the future. Yes, production cuts. I thought we were raising production yeah. levels. However, um, very interesting situation over there. OPEC Plus has not been able to deliver the amount of uh, crude oil and other uh, energy sources that they have pledged. So, uh, you know, they have these quotas, they've been raising them, but nevertheless, they've been falling into deficits by about 2 million barrels per month on average, at least from the data that I've tracked. And let's take a look at crude oil and what it's done and natural gas. Here's natural gas, and uh, this is intraday. I wanna show a max chart here because we are at levels that we have not seen mm -hmm. since the global financial crisis. And you take this down to a one year chart, this is a classic cup and handle breakout, right? Right here. This has legs, guys, and there's a reason they call this market the Widowmaker. I want to show you something in terms of, I only got a few seconds left, so I do want to show you what the German energy prices are looking like. This is German electricity prices in per barrel of oil. So this is kind of apples to oranges, but they are over $1,000. Compared, uh, combined with the fact that the German trade deficit has now skyrocketed. All of Europe is in a trade deficit. Uh, there are big things going on in the world. And back to the US dollar, we are seeing that at multi-decade highs right now. All of this comes together. There's probably recession coming to Europe and perhaps the US and the rest of the world as well, guys. Jared Blickery, silky Woo! smooth on the big board, cups and handles and widow makers. Jared, thanks so much.